load it up. A handlebar that flexes? A stem that holds a multi-tool? Yeah, there's more to 1UP's new cockpit than meets the eye. There's been a lot of talk about compliance lately, as component makers seek to provide a more comfortable user experience with less rider fatigue as the potential reward. 1UP Components has taken the 35mm cockpit design game one step further by going to an oval shape that tapers off through the transition zone in an effort to provide more vertical compliance while maintaining horizontal stiffness. As for the stem, 1UP has managed to ditch the good old starnut in favour of an external preload system that frees up space inside the steer tube to store a multi-tool. We've had this innovative combo out on the trails for a couple of months now and we're here to tell you all about how we've been getting along. Understated and sober, these new components fly under the radar at first glance. Closer inspection reveals plenty of attention to detail, from the elaborate shaping to the clever solutions found to reach the design goals. Starting with the bars, 1UP wanted to make a bar that would be significantly more compliant than what is currently available on the market. You can only do so much with carbon layup before you run into the physical constraints of a particular shape, which is why 1UP ended up going oval. Curious to see whether this was just a marketing ploy? We actually came up with our own handlebar flex test, which we presented in Vital's gear show a couple of weeks ago. Link below. Lo and behold, the 1UP bar showed the most amount of vertical flex out of the 8 bars we tested, with 14% more flex than the average score. On the trail, this translates to a certain softness that most other bars can't match. It's not like you feel the bar actually flexing, but it takes the sting out of bigger hits, and it also seems to really filter out trail chatter. The end result is more comfort and less arm fatigue after a long day of riding. We're also fans of the angles, which feel spot on in action. We also discovered a small set of markings on the bars that seem to correspond to head angles. This means that if you know your bike's head angle, you can align the bars to this number and you should be in the ballpark in terms of bar roll. We didn't find the markings to be always in the right spot, and they're also very hard to read, but we salute the idea. Out of the box, the bar measures 800 millimeters wide. We cut ours to 780 for this test. We also found that we had to tighten our controls a bit more than the recommended torque to get them to stay put, as the bars are a little bit slippery in that area. Looking closer at the stem, the big story here is obviously the ability to store tools in your cockpit. One up previously offered a version of the EDC stem that required threading the top portion of your steer tube, but this new version relies on an external preloader instead, which means you no longer have to risk voiding the warranty on your fork to run it. To install this stem, you proceed in the opposite way to the one you're used to. Start by aligning the stem, tightening down the main bolts, and then use the preloader bolt to compress the headset. It's a little bit more involved than installing a regular cockpit, notably because you have to align the stem before putting any pressure on it, which leaves it prone to moving around a bit more, but overall it's not too taxing and the system works well enough. We did find that we had to retorque the preloader every couple of rides in the beginning, but then it seems to settle in and not require much attention after that. The range of adjustment isn't huge, so make sure you put enough pressure on the stem when you first install it. With no starnut in the steerer tube, thanks to the EDC stem, you're now free to stuff it with tools instead. The EDC tool arrives in a specific holder that snaps into place in the EDC stem. There's also a lower section that you push into the steerer tube from the bottom, which then helps secure the lower end of the EDC tool to prevent it from rattling around. 1UP has given a lot of thought to the tools featured here, and they've come up with nifty little solutions to make the best use possible of the limited amount of space available. The multi-tool includes the usual Allen and Torx keys, which are comfortable and easy to use even if the tool itself is pretty small. 1UP even provided an 8mm Allen, which actually consists of two of the other tools that combine. Not super easy to use, but great to have in case you need to nip up a pedal or a big linkage bolt. Be careful though, we did manage to mangle this one trying to remove a stubborn pedal while out travelling. The lower part of the tool is a tube that can be loaded up with a chain link mini plier and a set of tubeless worms, or a CO2 cartridge. Super practical to have at hand, allowing you to fix your tubeless tire if you get a cut in it out on the trail. Just pull out the tubeless tool, insert a worm, stuff it in the cut and pump your tire back up again. 1UP even managed to fit a chain breaker in here, actually using part of the system that holds the multi-tool in place as one side of the chain breaker. This part can also do duty as a tire lever, and there are four different side spoke wrenches on it as well. All in all, we've been very impressed with this new cockpit from 1UP. The handlebar works as advertised, providing extra vertical compliance for a more comfortable riding experience, while the innovative EDC tool is super handy to have at your fingertips for all your trailside repair needs. As is often the case with 1UP, the pricing is super competitive as well, which is always a nice bonus. Yes, the external preloader requires a bit more attention than a classic Starnut setup, but having all your tools stored in such an inconspicuous place more than makes up for any inconvenience. 
Thanks for taking the time to tune in and check out this review. As usual, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And until next time, see you out there on the trails.